How to paint guitar pedals. There are a lot of ways to paint pedals, and here's one of the simpler methods I've come across to help those getting started the DIY way. You might need to do some experimenting of your own, practice on a spare or misdrilled enclosure if you got one. You can adapt these methods in many ways to get your own unique look. The hardest part about painting pedals that i found is just waiting for the right day to do it. Ideal conditions include a well-ventilated space, like the outdoors or an open garage, remember, breathing paint is toxic, a day with little to no wind, 60 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and a relative humidity less than 65%. Necessary supplies include a good service that you don't mind getting paint on, some plywood or cardboard on the ground works great, a vented covering to cover your pedal between coats, a cardboard box that you've knocked the dust out of works great, some wet dry sandpaper around 320 grit, stilts, these are optional but highly recommended, there are actual project stilts you can buy, but you can get creative with chunks of wood, misdrilled enclosures, balled up paper, etc. Self-etching primer, or some sort of aluminum primer. The base coat, which will be the main color of your pedal. If you're new to painting pedals, I highly recommend some sort of textured paint as it is much more forgiving than flat paint. They cover up painting blemishes and don't require sanding between coats as the point of these is not to be smooth to the touch. I'll be using a hammered paint for this video. Next, you'll need a clear coat. I've had good luck with ones advertised as durable top coats for a thicker finish or lacquer for a thinner finish. If you want to label the controls, you can use a Sharpie, a cutout stencil, rubber stamps and ink, vinyl stickers, water slide decals, etc. Finally, you'll need an enclosure. Preferably it's pre-drilled so you don't mess up the finish while drilling. Step 1. Surface Prep Under running water, sand the entire surface of the pedal. 320 grit is a good all-around sandpaper for this type of work, but anything around that will be fine. Sanding helps scuff the surface so that the primer can stick better while also helping to get shop grease and dirt off the aluminum. If you don't want to paint the pedal, progressively bump up to finer grades of sandpaper until you get your desired look. Make sure to get the bottom edges of the enclosure too. After sanding, wash the pedal with some dish soap using a scrub brush or another piece of sandpaper. Rinse thoroughly and wipe it dry while minimizing how much you touch the outside of the enclosure. Step 2. Primer. Once your pedal is fully dry, let it sit wherever you're going to be painting for 5 or so minutes. This will help the aluminum acclimate to the temperature and helps the primer to stick better. Do a quick, thin coat of self-etching primer around the entire outside. Spray 6 to 12 inches away, keep the can moving, and don't linger too long trying to get the whole exterior perfectly coated. It'll get covered in another coat. Follow the instructions on the can, wait between 2 to 5 minutes to dry before the next coat. I usually do two thin coats of primer, but feel free to do another. Let it dry for 30 minutes before the base coat. Step 3. Base coat. Like the primer, do a thin coat and don't worry about complete coverage yet. Repeat for 2 to 4 coats until you get full coverage. With this specific hammered paint, moving at a medium pace for your final coat helps bring out more texture. If you aren't going to label your enclosure, let it dry for 30 minutes then move on to the clear coat. If you're going to label the pedal, wait an hour or so for it to dry before handling. Then let it fully dry for 24 to 48 hours at least before applying your labels. The longer the better. Make sure you read the instructions on your particular can of paint for dry times. Make sure to let the labels fully dry before clear coating. Step 4. Clear coat. You're almost done, and you're probably a pro at spraying by now. Following a similar pattern for the primer and the base coat, apply a quick, thin coat and let it dry. Apply two or more coats until you get the desired thickness, waiting a few minutes between each coat. Again, follow the instructions on your can. Wait an hour or so before moving it inside to fully dry for 24 to 48 hours before you fill it with parts. The longer you wait, the better, as the finish will cure and become more durable. You might have to adapt some of these methods in this video depending on how you want your pedal to look and depending on the particular paints you are using. Always refer to the instructions on your can for recoat and dry times. Thanks for watching and happy building!